this side. Well, that might just be something that we have to deal with. Mm, my neighbor's there again, just, I'm trying to film quick. Get inside. Just fumble with your keys some more, it's alright, I've got all day. Well, hello there, a hearty welcome and thank you for joining, and welcome to another one of my monthly favourites videos. For those of you who don't know how a favourites video works, I basically just tell you all the things that I was loving the last month, and encourage you to buy them. Woo, peer pressure! Okay, let's get started. The first thing that I've been loving this month are these scented tea light candles, and they're scented natural linen, and... They just, they smell like fresh laundry. Oh, they smell so nice. This pack of 12 was $10, but when I bought them, they had buy one, get one half price, so it was $15 for the two. Um, but they smell really nice, and I've got them in my little tea light holders that you may remember from last month's favorites video. Um, but yeah, these are really nice. They had a few other scents as well. They had like orange and something and they had uh, like garden rose and they had apricot and fig I think and then they had like a Christmas spice one which seemed kind of weird because it's like Christmas has been there done that but anyway if you're in the market for some scented tea lights I would suggest you check out Target. My next favorite is another scented candle um, this one is from Dusk. I I guess I must have peeled the label off it, but um, I was cleaning out my wardrobe the other day and just kind of stumbled across this one, but this is um, Breeze Melon, and that's exactly what it smells like. It smells like a delicious, fruity melon. I don't think they make this candle anymore though, because I'm fairly sure when I bought it, it was on a uh, like, discontinued discount, but yeah, I was just cleaning out my wardrobe and I found it, and smells really nice. Obviously, I haven't lit it yet, but I like the smell of it, so that's why it's in the favourites video. The next thing I have been loving is another fragrance-based item, but it is the David Beckham Essence Fragrance, and I guess it just means that you smell like Essence of David Beckham, which smells really nice, actually. I got it for my birthday, actually, from my brother. It's really nice, the bottle's really cool, and... What else do I say? It's, it's great. Buy it. <laughs> my next favourite of this month is kind of like a constant favourite of mine anyway, which is tea, because I just... I'm all about tea life. Um, but I've really been liking Earl Grey tea, and I was at the same time I bought my scented candle from Target, they had these little collector's boxes of tea from Twinings, and I just thought it was really, really cool. Really sweet and cute, and then you've got your little, um, what's this called? A box of tea on the inside, but the tin's really nice. It just says, Twinings of London, enjoy every day. And they had Earl Grey and English breakfast when I went. I don't know if other stores have different flavours as well, but that's what they had. They had a blue and white one like this, and then they had like the reverse, so it was a white tin with blue um, decoration on it. But I thought that was really nice, so been loving tea and been loving this tin. The next favourite is kind of a boring favourite, um, but it's, well, it's not this particular SD card, it's the SD card that I'm using to film the video on. But basically, when I bought this camera, I just bought a 16 gigabyte SD card because I was talking to the person at the store that I bought it from, and I was like, oh, it's mainly using, I'll be using the camera to make kind of short little videos, and he said, oh yeah, this one will be fine, and this one's really great for videos because it has like a really quick import um, speed, like to put it into the computer, so I was like, I don't know what you mean, but sure, great, that's, that's awesome. But basically, it's the SanDisk Extreme, SD card that imports at 60 megabytes per second. I... is that higher than average? I wouldn't know. But it's not this one I've been loving, it's the 32 gigabyte one, which is in my camera now, hence why I can't show it to you. But, yeah, it's really great because it's bigger, it means that you can film for a lot longer period of time without having to take the SD card out, import it onto my computer, and then put it back in and 
kind of continue on filming the video, which was kind of an issue that I was having with, especially when I was filming my Baked Goods Friday videos, because they often take quite a long time to film, it would be that I'd be having to import my footage onto my laptop maybe two or three times a video, depending on how long it was taking me to bake, so with the larger memory card it means that I haven't had to do that, which has been great. What else do I love? Um, oh, these, these guys. These guys are really cool. These guys are fake roses that I made out of an old book. Um, that my mum was going to throw away, so I was like, well, let's get crafty. And I just think they look really cool, and I've put them in these old juice bottles. I've just got like a little row of them over there, but I've put this one here so that you can see it. Um, and I think they're really cool. They look really Pinterest, very artsy, very indie. Who knows, maybe I'll do a tutorial on how to make them. I don't know. Just keep your eyes peeled, hey? So my next favourite of the month is actually a YouTube favourite. Um, I've, uh, I don't know how, I haven't been involved in their lives previously, but the Sukoni Jolies need more support because I had always heard other people talk about them, like other YouTubers in their vlogs and even like other people that I've spoken to have been like, oh, the Sukoni Jolies are really great for vlogs, like if you're into vlogs you should really watch them. And I'd always thought, oh yeah, yeah, I'll get around to it, I'll get around to it, but never had. But now that I have, they're literally all I've been watching for the past week. I, and I, I don't know what it is, I don't know why I'm so intrigued by other people's lives, but I just am, like... Oh, I don't know, but I think they're great. So if by some miraculous reason you haven't heard of the Sukoni Jollies, I'll put the link to their channel in the description box, and you should definitely go and check them out because they're really great. I love them. Essentially. That's all. And so my last favourite of this month is my new phone. I bought myself a new phone for my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Um, I got the iPhone 6, 64 gigabyte in gold. It's pretty. I just think it's great. If you're in the market for a new iPhone, I'd get this one. I think the reason I went with the 6 as opposed to the 6 Plus is because the 6 is big. Like, when you compare it to the 5, it's big, but the 6 Plus, it was just a bit big for me and bulky, so I just went with the 6, but I've really been liking it. I suggest you get one if you're in the market for a new phone, but don't feel like you have to buy one just because it's the newest product, because we don't want any of that consumerism. Don't want any of that consumerism says the guy that's got an iPhone, a MacBook, an iPad. <sighs> this video is hashtag not sponsored by Apple. Check out apple.com for the very best in Apple products. But there you go, that's all the things that I've been loving during the month of April. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can also comment and subscribe and all that other fun stuff as well. That would be great. But that's it. So thank you so much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure and I'll see you next time. Catch ya! I'm just getting so good at filming things in one shot. One shot, one take. I'm just, I'm so proud of myself.